Uh, I think the greatest memory from the games in 2000 here was the gallop around on the horses after we received the medals. Being in first place is always, uh, yeah, well, it's a great place to be, that's for sure. Um, we were actually in first place after the dressage. And then after the cross country, we were still in first place. So it would be disappointing to not finish the third day in first place as well. Um, was a bit nerve wracking because the weakest phases for our horses was prob probably the show jumping. They were all okay, but they were all probably gonna have one rail or maybe two. So it's a bit of a maths equation. How many do we have down? How many does the next country have down? And, and we were sort of lucky our horses jumped well and the other countries also had a few rails down. So we ended up winning fairly comfortably in the end. We get back on the horses and we do a, a lap around and wave at the crowd. And that's when the crowd also were the wildest by a long way. And um, I remember we'd been around about two or three times and, and they all ran out in front of us and went to usher us around and we just went around them all and kept going, <laughs> did a few more. I think after competing here in 2000 and then going to other Olympic games, I think the legacy of this venue is amazing, really amazing for our sport. What was surprising is after the Olympics, like in those next few years, we were actually riding around that Olympic cross country track on other horses and other riders were doing it. And it was a tough track. It was really tough. It was very few people in the world could jump around it. Yet three years later, most of the high level Australian riders were all can cantering around that Olympic track. To be still competing here at the venue 20 years on is I think wonderful because I'm always bringing on new horses. I've got new horses now that I'm trying to get to the next Olympics on and, and to bring them through and educate them. So to have a facility like this for their learning and to be able to improve is just wonderful. My daughter Gemma rides at this high level now, sort of four and five star level. And it's great to have her in the sport. And I remember she was two or three at the games and we've got lots of photo of her just she didn't know what was going on with the horses. She's off with the pixies, playing with the flowers like she used to do. So now to have her going around these tracks here and competing here and, and going quite well here is, is uh, makes me very proud.